In this video, I'm going to look at the OpenWebRx configuration file and I'm going to show you how to add an extra band uh, as an addition to the original setup that comes with the image. In order to do this, I'm going to use a program called WinSCP that allows me to transfer files between my PC and the Raspberry Pi. It allows me to back up files from the Pi and also to edit files. It's freely downloadable and you can see the website here. So I'm just going to download this piece of software and then we'll start having a look at the files we need to change in the Pi. So let's open up WinSCP and we'll set it up to communicate with our Pi. So let's put in the address like that our username will be pi the password should be raspberry that's just the standard uh, issue that comes on the SD card incidentally if you're going to open this receiver up for web use it's really wise to change the password otherwise you can't have problems um, the Pi is very very vulnerable to, to being hacked if it's still on the standard uh, password anyway let's log in and you can see okay it's successfully connected now on the left hand side of our screen is um, the C drive of the PC I'm using and you can see I've I've got a config file for the uh, WebRx already backed up here but uh, I'm gonna get rid of that for a second okay um, and let's have a look at the right hand side of the screen which is our Raspberry Pi if we open that up you can see there's two directories if we the one with the little arrow again we double click on okay we've got a list of directories here the directory we want here is the um, the etc one so let's open that and we're looking for um, the config file which will be called openwebrx and there it is if we open that you'll see there's a number of files in here this is the one we're interested in configwebrx.py now obviously the receiver is running at the moment so we know that file is working so the best thing we can do and it's very easy to do with OpenWebRx once we've made one alteration the best thing we can do here is to back this file up before we start doing anything so we can simply drag it across to our computer and there it is it's backed up okay now doesn't matter what we do now we've got a backup if we get this wrong we can even delete this file that file as you've just seen that's okay because we've got a backup here and if we want to replace the missing file we can just drag it back over now whilst we're doing all this the receiver is perfectly capable of running any changes we make to this file won't take effect until we reboot the Raspberry Pi okay so we can change things here but until we reboot nothing will happen but what I like about WinSCP is it makes it fairly easy for you to see these files to read them and to change them let's open up the configuration file okay a lot of text in here but if we look down <coughs> uh, you can see we can actually specify a call sign and a location for our receiver which will come up on the web interface um, we can put our details in there in place of the details that are already there but at the moment we're going to concentrate on amending or adding an extra band we're using an SDR play device so let's scroll down the listing until we get to SDR and here we are SDR play okay now then we need to look very carefully at the way that all of this is laid out because all of these colons the brackets the commas they're all very very important in this file and if we get these wrong if we have one too many or we miss out a comma we miss out a bracket the whole thing simply won't work it's not just that our new band won't work you'll stop the receiver working entirely if you get this 
formatting wrong and that's why I recommended backing up a working version of the file to start off with so we know if something goes wrong here we know we've got a working version so let's add a band I'm gonna copy this band it makes it easier to do it this way and it helps to keep the format in right so 30 meters let's just highlight this with a mouse I'll go in front of the inverted commas there or quotation marks highlight down to the bracket and the comma at the bottom right click and copy I'm gonna add uh, 160 meters top band so I'll put it in under 80 meters so that it's in order so I press return there so you can see I put my cursor after that comma there the bracket and the comma put my cursor in press return and I'm now gonna paste the copied band All right it's not gonna be 30 meters anymore it's gonna be 160 meters so we type that in similarly in there 160 meters the center frequency if you ignore those three zeros on the end we'll just leave those there and we'll take the rest of it out we'll have 1900 1.9 megs is the center frequency the RF gain zero is a bit high we can alter this on the other ones in due course as well let's put that at 20 the SDR play works the wrong way around so zero will be a very high gain and 20 will be lower the sample rate of 250,000 equates to 250 kilohertz so that's more than enough for the 160 meter band we can leave that alone and the start frequency is just what it says um, it's showing you where the band will start and where when you hit that band where you should come on to it initially anyway um, so let's set that at um, doesn't really matter anyway within the band but we'll put it in 1950 start mod mod in this case is actually mode so we want LSP for lower sideband now we should be fine now we should have added our extra band what we have to do is save this file so we press on the little disk symbol up there and save we can come out now and you'll see uh, on the right hand side our config file has got uh, today's date and the time that we've amended it now as I said earlier uh, nothing will happen on the Pi until we reboot it that's when there are any modifications that we've made will take effect so we need to open a terminal window which is this one up here we click on that and just click OK OK so this gives us a command line on the Pi and in here we're gonna type in sudo reboot which will reboot our Pi press the execute button that's a good sign it means the Pi is in the process of rebooting so we'll okay that right let's uh, open up open web rx on our web browser and uh, see whether these changes have taken any effect um, I'll know I've got it right if the receiver starts up because as I said if you make a mistake on the formatting or something with this it just won't work so let's put in our in fact this is there for us let's start one click on that and okay yeah we've got okay we've got our receiver let's check on the band button over here and let's see if we've got a 160 meter band and there it is 160 meter band we can click on that probably not a great deal on it this time of day actually but uh, okay there it is um, and it started up in lower sideband as you can see um, we set the band start at 1950 and it's brought us on to 1950 megahertz so we've successfully added a band if you got any of this format in wrong the receiver wouldn't work what I suggest you do then is to go back into WinSCP okay and uh, obviously this is disconnected since the last time because the Pi rebooted we'll bring it back up go into WinSCP and if your system isn't working you can delete this file 
and replace it with your backup file because we know that one's working and start again but if you do exactly what I did when I copied the existing band and pasted it in and changed it to a new band you should be fine but I always recommend that you back up the config file now we've got a new config file working we can simply drag a copy of it over here it'll ask us if we want to overwrite it which we do and we've now got the new config file backed up so we can go back into here we can open it up and for example um, as I've said here receive a name in this little bit of narrative we could change this and just write my SDR um, that won't take any effect at the moment until we reboot the Raspberry Pi but the next time we boot it'll have whatever name you put in there it can have your location it can have your height above sea level whatever you want to put in there um, so again as long as you keep the same format in in this case it's very easy you just stay within those brackets you stay within those quotation marks you just alter what's there we can click on save we close that off let's go back to the terminal window and we just put in sudo reboot We'll execute that and the Pi disconnects. Mm. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get back into the OpenWebRx. Move to that. Here we go. And just mute that. You'll see up at the top now we've got the new name we've put in my SDR and the location is a UK. And I just altered that ASL figure to uh, 100. You can put your name, your proper location in there. Just reboot the Pi and that change will be reflected. I hope this was of some help. It's a little bit daunting and I still find it so. I'm not uh, someone that um, knows very much at all about Raspberry Pis. And I believe uh, the language that this file is written in here that we looked at um, for the bands is Python um, if you're familiar with Python then you probably have no difficulties with this at all if you're not then like I say just be careful and if you're adding bands go from you've got the bracket and the comma under the band above you just select that band down to the bracket and the comma you can copy and paste that and then you can just alter the details within each one you can add as many bands as you want here you can add the amateur bands broadcast bands VHF and UHF whatever coverage you have on your receiver I don't think there's any limit to the amount of bands that you can set um, the more you have obviously you'll just have when it comes to uh, the receiver here you'll have more of a drop down and similarly you can play around with the gain settings as we discussed um, if we look at this particular receiver which is a uh, um, an MSI SDR it's kind of a, a cheap clone of an SDR play it's not as good but looking at this screen the gain in the config file here is set to zero I would say is for, this isn't my main receiver I've just set this up as a demo and I would say that um, there's far too much gain on this just looking at the screen in fact if we go into WinSCP we go into 20 meters we were looking at it there uh, we've got RF gain 0 let's set it to 30 let's save that and come out and uh, 
I'll reboot the Pi again. And we'll come back in a second to see what difference that makes. Okay, back on 20 meters now. I'll just uh, mute the sound for a second. You can see immediately with the display, um, it looks a lot better. It's not overloading. And um, if we zoom in here and select um, FT8, go to FT8 frequency there. Probably we'll do some decode. You can see it's working. Um, looks much better. It's just by altering the RF gain. As I recall with these uh, MSI SDRs, I've used this for a little while as a backup receiver. And here we go. Uh, stations are coming through. It's uh, uh, in between tw 20 and 30 is probably a, a better gain figure. Anyway, I hope that gives you some idea on how you can play around with the config file. Um, and it's a little bit daunting at first, but as long as you back up the working file that you have, uh, as I've just shown you, you can just put it back onto the Pi and you won't have any difficulties. So have a go and have a bit of fun with it. Okay, thank you for watching.